I got the cash, it's up for grabs I'm about to spend, up on the track I got the cash, it's up for grabs I'm about to spend, I'm about to spend, I'm about to spend Yo What's going on guys, it's your boy Q, we're back at it again with another video. If you guys are already subscribed, welcome back to another episode of Q-Timber. And if you're new here and don't know what Q-Timber is, basically it's a 30 day challenge where I'm challenging myself to make 30 videos in 30 days, so the whole month of September I'm uploading every single day. If you guys want to make sure you don't miss a single episode, go down, hit that subscribe button, and right next to it is a bell button. If you hit that, you'll be notified every single time I upload. But anyways, in today's video, we're doing a little something different. I've never done anything like this, but I'm going to go on YouTube. And we're gonna find some kind of arcade sample and make some kind of like trippy red trip at night beat maybe even like a yeet type beat whatever whatever comes out of it is whatever we're gonna make but i'm looking for some kind of arcade sample and i'm definitely making some kind of like rage style beat so we're gonna hop on youtube and i'm just gonna start searching for some arcade samples and we're gonna flip it all right so this turned out a little easier than i thought it would i literally typed in arcade game soundtrack and there was this playlist right here best arcade music and video number 28 this is what we get I already got an idea off that right away. So we're going to download that and pull it up in FL Studio. Let's do it. All right, so we got FL open and I pulled this up. So first thing I'm going to do is just turn this down a bit and track it out. And then we're just going to try and get the BPM down. So I'm just going to start it right here and bring the tapper out. So it's looking like 131. Should be about right. The way you can do this is just trim it and go to like the second beat that you see and just align that up with a with one of the lines. Then just make sure they all fit. Let's see here. All right, and then this should loop pretty much perfectly if we just trim the end off. So let's hear what we got. All right, so right off the bat, I know that I don't want to use that bass. So first thing I'm gonna do is EQ the sound. And we're just going to go to the third preset and pull all that bass out. All right, then I'm just going to add a Valhalla Vintage Verb. And I'm going to bring the decay down a bunch and the mix down a lot as well. And then the low cut up and the high cut down. And then I'm going to add another EQ and I'm just going to kind of bring the low mids down. Perfect. That works for me. And then we're going to open up Serum and we're going to find a bass. I just have the sub bass right here. Sounds pretty good. And the way you could usually get the root note and like the bass notes of a sample is just bring bring your bass up an octave and you could usually hear it a little bit better. I can already tell that this is an A minor. Root note's going to be pretty easy to find. It should just start with A like this. Uh, we got to bring the uh, pattern into here. Let's see. I think it's... Cool, and I'm gonna try one thing real quick. I wanna see if halftime sounds good on this. So we're gonna grab roast beat and we're gonna go to the momentary presets in half speed. All right, yeah, I actually like that a lot. So now we're just gonna pull up another serum preset and we can use that grow speed to kind of add different elements to the beat once we start arranging it and we could automate it to pull that on and off. But what we're gonna do here is just find some kind of like maybe a pad or some kind of synth. Now I'm just gonna build some chords from the root notes. And then I'm just going to kind of build like some kind of little counter melody up on top.
Oh, I like this a lot, so I'm gonna just duplicate that over twice. Just make sure it fits, and then duplicate this over as well. But we gotta trim this off. And bring this back in. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab one more instance of serum and we're just going to find like some kind of lead. Cool. And what I'm going to do is literally copy these notes right here at the end of each chord. Cool. And then I routed those to the mix track and we're just going to EQ out the lead a little bit. All right, so now for the arrangement, and then we're gonna do the drums next. So this is gonna be the cool part. So I'm just gonna duplicate this over a few times, and we're gonna take out all of these at first, and then we're gonna go to the main arcade sound, and we're gonna, I'm gonna automate this EQ right here, and then the growth speed. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start out with the original sample. So I'm gonna pull the EQ down and the growth speed down. I'm gonna go into my drum kit, which is available at quintabob.com, and I'm gonna grab this effect right here called Dash. We're gonna drag it right over here. I'm just gonna track this out and we're gonna turn it down a bit, make sure it's on time. And then basically right at this point, we're gonna go like this. The bass and the lead are gonna come in right here. And we're gonna have a transition into the gross beat part like this. Should be like, just like this. So right now we have the intro with the normal sound and then it switches over into this part. And then we're just going to loop this part where the chords come in. And we're actually going to take out the arcade sample and then we're going to start the drums. So we're going to pull in pattern four and we're just going to loop it for eight bars. And we're going to go back to my drum kit and I'm just going to grab a snare. Grab this one right here. And then I'm going to go into the collapse folder and apply the default pattern. And we're going to pull it down a few semitones. And we'll grab this hi-hat and just apply a two-step pattern. I'm gonna grab this snare as well. Perfect, then we're gonna duplicate that over. And we're pretty much going straight into the 808 now. I'm just gonna grab like the Zay 808 and we're gonna turn it all the way up. Make sure you do cut itself on the 808 and then we just follow the root note. Perfect. And last thing we're going to do right here is just add an open hat. I'm going to grab this open hat and then this one as well. And we're going to go back into the pattern and we're going to split the drums up and then pull them out here. And then what I'm going to do here is put stretch on the sample. We're just going to speed this up a little. And then all we do now is just duplicate this over 
probably about two times. Gotta see how long the song is. Yep, it's looking like twice. Perfect. And then we're just gonna use this as an outro. And that's the whole beat right there. So I'm gonna save it and render it out. But yeah, that's the whole beat right there. Yeah. I got the cash. I got the cash. Hold on. I got the cash. I got the cash. Yeah. Yeah, I got the cash. Yeah, I got the cash. I got the cash. I'm gonna go splash. I'm on the track. You cannot stop me. I'm going straight to the top now. I got the cash and I'm spending. Fuck on this bitch, I ain't seventy. I ain't even fucking with nothing. I cannot fuck with you buzzing. I got the cash. It's up for grabs. I'm about to spend. Up on the track. I got the cash. It's up for grabs. I'm about to spaz, I'm about to spaz, I'm about to spaz I got the cash, it's up for grabs Fuck on that bitch and I slap on her ass What the fuck do you think? I'm about to spaz, up on this track, huh I'm about to spaz on this track, yeah I got the cash, I got the cash, it's up for grabs Fuck on that bitch and I smack on her ass, huh Back to the track, then you know that I'm about to go spaz Everything that I said I did, fuck on that bitch I don't know what you wanna say to me I'ma shoot you if I'm gripping, then you know your last son. Yeah, fuck on this bitch and I smack on the ass. I'm about to spaz on the track. Yeah, fuck on this bitch and I, uh, uh, fuck on this bitch in a Tesla. Please believe what I said. I won't lie, it's out in my head. And I can't believe that I can't get you up in my bed. But you just stay inside my head. Yeah, and I got the cash. It's up for grabs. Fuckin' this bitch from the back, yeah I'll be your freezer and I'm taking your snacks, huh I'ma give you a heart attack You see me gripping this silver Smith and Wesson Smooth it, huh, yeah Fuck on that bitch and I'm back to the trap Cookin' on that, yeah Cookin' on that like I'm back in the lab Fuckin' this bitch, fuckin' the best friend like back to back Alright guys, so that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is honestly one of my favorite beats I ever made. I don't know why I really like this one. Also, I think that freestyle, crazy. I don't know about you guys, but if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button for me. Also, if you don't want to miss an episode of q Timber, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and that bell button. But as for right now, that's all I got for you guys. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Do I got the cash. It's up for grabs. I'm about to spend. up on the track. I got the cash. It's up for grabs. Somebody spend.